Right, this is just going to be a really quick um, one minute video on what integrated circuits are. It just says in your exam, be aware IC stands for integrated circuit, uh, be able to explain what one is, understand why you would use integrated circuits in general, and then just know the difference between through hole and surface mount uh, integrated circuits. So I'll just uh, talk you through that really quick for the sides. So just think of an integrated circuit, a chip, as a ready-made circuit in a box. And they're ready designed to do a job. Could be timing, like the 555 timer, could be counting, as in deco counters, could be comparing things, like an op-amp. Uh, or it could be a pick chip, which is like a universal chip that will do any job, depending on how you set it up. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. Pictures tell a thousand words. So you're used to seeing a chip, but you probably don't know what's inside it. Um, if you were to cut the bottom off it and look inside a typical chip, you'd see this arrangement. So all the legs come in on giant bits of metal and they all join up to this square in the middle. If we go a bit closer, you can see that those bits of metal with tiny little hair-like strands of wire actually join to that square. And this square, as in this tiny little bit, is actually the circuit board. So, like you guys have designed in Circuit Wizard a layout like this, and you put capacitors and resistors and, ch and even chips and things down, you've got the same thing, but made on a miniature scale, absolutely tiny, just laid out in here. Okay, again, give you an idea of the scale of it. This is another circuit. Um, to give you an idea of how small you can make these things, if you look at a modern computer processor, you've got somewhere in the billions of components squeezed into a space about the size of a postage stamp. So, absolutely crazy, mind-blowing technology. That's the basic layout of it. Um, but all you need to know is an integrated circuit is a chip, or is a collection of components already made into a circuit, squeezed into a tiny, tiny little case in a ready-made package for convenience. So, just to give you an idea um, of how many components are squeezed in there, this is the 555 timer, an old favourite, one that's been around since the 70s, and you're used to seeing these eight connections, but if you were actually to dismantle this, this is the circuit that's actually inside a 555 timer. Essentially, lots and lots of transistors, a few resistors, but all of that together you take your main inputs and outputs, feed them out of the box, and that becomes these legs here. Okay, so it's a circuit in a box. Um, the only thing you've got to be able to argue in your exam is these points here. Why do you want it? Well, it obviously makes it more convenient. If you had to build that every time you wanted a 555 timer, as well as the rest of the circuit, it'd be a right pain in the backside. Um, also, you can make things a lot smaller because you're using machine methods, computer methods to build these things, so you can fit a lot more stuff into a smaller space than a human being could ever manage, so you can make circuits more compact and therefore more impressive with what they can do. Uh, they're easier to swap for problems. If you break a chip, you can usually just plug it in and out of a chip holder. More convenient, as I said, what's the point in designing the 555 timer from the ground up? Some smart guys already figured that out, so just use a ready-made version rather than have to build it yourself. Um, the other thing, you can get them in even smaller versions than these. You're used to the ones with big legs that we can pick up and hold. Uh, in modern technology, electronics, they're miniaturized even further. So to give you an idea, this is, you all know how big a normal 555 timer is, about the size of a thumbnail. And this is how big a surface-mounted version would be. If you want to know the difference between surface mount and through hole, we need to look at my other PowerPoint video. Um, but yeah, a surface mount chip can be, if we look at the scale here, three or four millimetres across, which is absolutely tiny. Brilliant. Well, that's it. So, to recap, the chip is just components ready made in a box inside a bigger box for convenience. And that's it, really. You can get them in different sizes. Alright, that's the end of this video.